Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to continue our uh, PDF integration extract form field activity. So, on the part one, I show you how to use this uh, control of PDF integration where we are able to capture the the items from the PDF one. So, in this video, I'm go we, we are going to capture all the details from the three PDF and then transfer them from Excel. But before we go into that, let me just run again my code and check if it's still working. And yes, it's still working, but again, that is only from one PDF. So now let's work on the other PDF. So the first thing that we need to do is to look in the folder where the PDF is located. So let me add a for loop in here for each file in a folder. If you can find that easily, go to just look for the loop. And then for each file in a folder, let's put that in here and now let's browse our that should be in document let's say pdf sample so that's the name of my folder where the pdfs were saved so just hit the save button this pdf integration should be um let's put that after the loop for the meantime and okay so again uh, if you can still remember let me just um if you can still remember on that folder i have three pdf and i also have one excel so what we only want to read are those pdf file so i need to put a condition let me just look for the if condition uh -huh. okay so if uh if variable put that in here so our condition should be if the extension so to get extension press f2 search for extension extension should be equals to pdf save that so after you do that we need to move or drag this and dip and end loop all right there so make sure that uh, you have the end dip and end loop located on that line as well so here in the PDF integration line, we need to update this because this is uh, specific only to PDF sample one. So we need to make it um, flexible to whatever the file name being read during the loop. So remove that PDF and extension. And now press F2 from your keyboard, select file name. There you go, file name. And then period and then f2 again from your keyboard and then search for extension and that should be your path so whatever the file name from the loop is so it will be able to capture that pdf name so after that just hit the save button and okay so we have completed the loop so the next thing that we need to do is to paste the value from pdf to excel so do we have an open spreadsheet in here there you go we have an open spreadsheet but we need to put it on the topmost part of the code we need to open it just once let me drag that so here and then okay so we use a variable previously we named that bctr so we initialize the value is equals to 2 because the row should start with 2 but for now we need to remove that let's remove the default value and let's add another variable let me call this variable start row or s row and the value should be equals to 2 i mean the initial value should be equals to 2 and then before the first loop, we need to have a variable operation. 
okay variable operation in here we need to assign the the value of the bs row to our ctr okay make sure that you are able to follow that and then we need to change this variable operation we need to make it um bctr should be equal to the value of ps row and hit the save button so we just copy that in here and then remove the previous variable operation so like yes and here after the last loop from the list variable we need to have another variable operation where we will assign the last value of the counter to the ps row like this so maybe you are confused why i did that so start we need to initialize the value of our counter to the value of s row so that the first loop it will put the value from row 2 and then it will um, increment the counter so to input the next value to row 3 and then row 4 and then we return the value to the initial value which is 2 so the next item which is h will be again pasted or yep pasted on the call on the row number 2 same with the savings item so in here why we have another variable operation because we already have three rows populated and we need to make sure that the next item of the next pdf will be pasted on the next available row we cannot paste that again on row number two because it will just override the first value so in this for example the last value of the counter is equals to four so that means that the next initial value of our start row will be 4 so to have the next item uh, pasted on the next available row so let's try this if i make it made it correctly hit the save button make sure to do that and then hit the run button There you go. Okay, again, remember on the first PDF we have three items, on the second PDF we have two, and we only have one on the third PDF. But here, I think you can notice that we are having blank rows, and we need to make sure that uh, we, we are not capturing that from the PDF. Well, we can easily fix that. Let me just close this file first. We just need to add an if condition checking if the value is null or not if it's null then there's no need to set the value of excel so look for the if condition if variable now let's put that before the excel set value in here so let's say the condition is the first list variable is b name so b name if equals if not equals to null yep then let's put that inside the condition let me remove this so if that's not equal to null then we'll set the value of excel so let me just copy that on the next loop so this condition should be <coughs> sorry should be bh is not equals to null and let's put the excel set value operation inside that if condition and let's copy that again for the last time let's put that in here then let's change the condition to it should be b b savings and it should be not equals to null hit yes and let's put the excel set value inside that if condition now save your work and after that, click the run button. Okay, 
e, mm -hmm. since it's not working, even if we put that condition, if it's not equals to null, maybe there is a value, that's why, so let me close that. Maybe we need to change the condition. Let me check, let's start with the name. Um, Well, there's no value why it's not capturing the null. Mm -hmm. I think if we need to to link it. But wait, let me run again. Let me check. What is the value? Does it has a value? Well, this is another value. Why? Okay, I forgot. It is because the, the variable, the, the incrementation of the counter should be included inside the if condition. That is why. So let's save that. And now let's try to run it again. I think that's the only problem that we had. That's why it's still continuously skipping the other lines. There you go. Now we were able to resolve it and we were able to capture all the value from the 3 PDF going into this Excel worksheet. So I hope that uh, you will be able to use this on whatever exercise you are working on right now or on your future scenario that you might, you might face in the future. So I think that's all for this activity. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.